What you're about to watch here is the lamentation of a young Nigerian, James Paul Adama, whose farm was destroyed by Hessmen. This is a Moringa farm he invested over 60 million Naira, and all is gone as we speak. You will listen to James Adama in a minute. My name is James Paul Adama. Uh, I am a farmer, and this is the situation I find myself. And this is my farm, a Moringa farm of about 160 hectares. And uh, the farm has been destroyed. You can see some of the Moringas that were destroyed. You can see uh, 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 the cow dung and cow pows inside the uh, farm. It's a big, 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 massive farm. It's a big, massive farm. As I'm talking to you, um, we don't even have one percent of what we have planted here. Uh, so I started from a little farm in Abuja of about six, seven hectares around Kwali area, close to mathematical center in Kwali. And uh, I saw that it wasn't enough. So a company contacted me called Team Building International to buy 5,000 metric ton of Moringa seed every year for the next 10 years. And so I was able to meet a family and the family has this land, 160 hectares. Uh, they have not been using it. And they said, okay, the best thing to do is to give you this land to put this investment, since this investment is going to last for 75 years. So that is how they gave me the land. And I moved down here August last year. And I started work. So as of April, we started planting. And the Moringas were doing extremely well, as you can see from the pictures that I showed you extremely beautiful so we decided to take about a month to go and rest while resting in abuja i received a call from the uh, 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 some of the villagers and some of the owners of the land were calling me on a daily basis to say come oh, cows are invading the farm cows are invading the farm every blessed day we'll see numbers of fulanis uh, uh, nothing less than 700 we move from the fast area where you are seeing fast there to this place and the, we are seeing them uprooting the farm and moving uh, uprooting the moringas and moving into the farm with cows in their thousands and so one of the days i came down myself and uh, we came to the farm here and we also met them shooting at us they started shooting at us on sighting us they started shooting at us so we i went back and say this is not, uh, uh, that nobody should go close. That people's lives are more important than whatever has been planted here. I was able to put up a letter because I was complaining, going from one place to another. My farm is destroyed, my farm in, is destroyed, and uh, there seems to be a deaf ear on it. So I wrote a letter to the commander, Operation Save Heaven, Plateau State, through the commander sector 9 region this is the letter and the letter was received i wrote to the director of dss plateau state this is the letter and the letter was received then i wrote to the office of the deputy governor that is state emergency management agency sema i wrote to them you can see the letter you can see their stamp the letter was received by them and also i wrote to the commissioner of police you can see the letter was received by them uh, but as i'm talking to you now everything has been destroyed and i'm appealing to government as a young man to please compensate me so that i can start from somewhere again